you're back and that makes me so very happy welcome back to the guide we're gonna jump into jk's interior overhaul solitude but oops oops i did it again i forgot to clean up after myself right click delete install downloads right click anywhere here all mods and collapse all there we go all right so let's create this separator copy this tiny wrench spanner create separator and paste it okay so jk's angeline's Ar uh, aromatics a lore friendly overhaul of angeline's Ar aromatics very good version one one of my favorite mod authors man i like i love his city overhauls all right i wonder if lexi is using a white run overhaul i do seem to remember the trees all right so I just click okay on that all right jk's bits and pieces a lore friendly overhaul download file mod manager download i think these are new to me i don't remember these interiors from jk double click to install okay no i've downloaded them i haven't endorsed them i mean i've, I've i have endorsed them jk's radiant arraignment a lore friendly overhaul of the radiant raiment shop all right download this files mod manager download good double click okay yeah all right then jk's winking skiver let's do that my magic download good and let's double click to install this there's a bsa for this one but we're not going to extract it so no all right so and i asked a question and here's the answer white run city overhaul very very cool all right, let's install this by first creating the separator. White run city overhauls, copy. Separator time, create separator. Paste, boom. All right, fortified white, white run. Fortified white, white run seeks to bring realistic and logistical defenses to our most beloved city. Okay, download it. Ooh, neat. Okay. Wow, can't wait to explore this. So we got a main file. Yeah, just a main file. <clears throat> Let's install this, double click. Okay. And there's a BSA, we don't want to extract it. Activate that. Fortify white run, cloud district terrain fixes. Fixes for terrain gaps and whatnot. Two main files, cloud districts and steps to the cloud district. Okay. So let's download both of these main files. Cool. And we're gonna install these as separate mods. So let's start with uh, Cloud District Terrain Fix. All right, and then Steps to Cloud District. Oops, I forgot to rename it. Cancel, let's do this again. Double click, drop down, Steps to the Cloud District. There we go, okay. And let's activate those. And then White Run Horse Statue. There's a BSA, and we're gonna run through Cathedral Asset Optimizer. Okay, piece of cake. Uh, let's start with the main file. Uh, several main files. Which one would we want? Horses galore. White run horse statue. Okay. Uh, horse statue. Horses galore. There's more than one. Okay. We want this one without any other whatnots. So, second from the top. Fatty's house. All right. What the heck? Horses galore. Oh. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, so let's install it. <clears throat> Click OK. Uh, yeah, extract to BSA, yes. And now let's run it through Cathedral Asset Optimizer. Let's close MO2. Go into your mod folder. Whoop. Go into Cathedral Asset Optimizer. Click on the executable. And we want to choose the no BSA preset. Lexi's no BSA, bam. Open directory. It's pointing to Sky, Skyrim realistic overall for now. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go into your mod folder, go into mod organizer two, go into mods, and let's find white run horse statue. That should be towards the, uh, towards the bottom, so. There you are, white run horses. Just click on the folder and select folder. I'm gonna click on log so I can see what's going on and then click run. That's it, that one was very quick. Process completed. All right, close that out. 
close that out. Let's reopen Mod Organizer 2. Okay. Let's activate White Run Horse Statue. And let's clean this up. Delete. Yes. All right. We're going to move on to JK's Interior Overhauls White Run. So let's create this separator. Copy. Tiny Wrench and Spanner. Create separator. Paste. Okay. All right, JK's Arcadia's Cauldron. Let's do that, version one. Miles, Mod Manager download. Close this out and let's install this. Okay, so JK is getting a lot of love in the in this iteration of the guide. I love it. JK's Bellathor, cool. Let's install this. Mod Manager download. And install it, double click, okay. Activate that. JK's Dragon Reach. Files, Mod Manager download, and let's install this. Double click. It's BSA. We are not extracting it. No. Now JK's Bannered Mare. Let's install that. Files, Mod Manager download. Excellent. My favorite tavern. <laughs> All right, Drunken Huntsman. <clears throat> download this I always found Junkin Huntsman interesting I mean it's not exactly a tavern it's not exactly a bar and it's also like a fletching shop so it's like it's kind of weird eclectic place all right JK's War Maidens all right files and we don't want any patches do we no just a main file good activate that all right all right, guys, and with that, I'm going to end the video there. Next video, we're going to get into late loaders. Just kidding. We're also going to get late loaders because I want to keep vanilla creature retextures and tweaks it in its own video. And this is very short, late loaders. All right, so let's create this separator. I like that. Copy this. Uh, drop down menu in the tiny wrench spanner. Create separator. Paste in here. Paste. Okay. All right, blowing in the wind. Skyrim is a windy region. Yet the store and in signs are unaffected by strong winds. Well, this fixes it for immersions. And we got a manual SSE edit required. No problem. No problem. So let's download it. Files. Mod Manager download. Good. Double clickety click to install it. Oh, there's a full mod. Let's open this up. Okay. Open up the full mod. Boom. So mod description is checked. Okay, we'll check it. Um, Skyrim version, special edition, of course, sign design. We want the smim signs, of course, sign weight, keep it at medium, hanging lantern design, keep it at mixed, lantern weight, keep it at light. Next, next, woo, whole lot of stuff. All right, so we have some stuff here that's checked, that's not checked in the guide, so let's make sure we uncheck those boxes. So we do not want books of Skyrim, and we don't want expanded towns and cities. Okay, we want Falskar, we want Helgen. All right, let's click next over here. Scroll down. We do want no snow under the roof and we do not want Smim merged all. So uncheck that box, scroll down and that's it. Click install. Okay, minimize this and we need to do a little uh, SSE edit do uh, finagling. Basically blowing in the wind needs to be flagged as an ESM. Okay, let's do that. So tick that box. And drop down menu here, go to SSE edit and click run. Uh, right click, select none, and we need to load uh, blowing in the wind, load up blowing in the wind. So scroll to the bottom, here it is right here. Check the box next to that. What about Helgen Reborn? No, we're leaving Helgen Reborn alone. Blowing in the wind, Helgen Reborn. Okay, so just check the box next to blowing in the wind and then click okay. Let it load up. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. All right, after it's finished, background loader finished, expand th this box, click on file header, go to record flags, click on next to record flags, right click, edit. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Then tick the box next to ESM, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Then click okay, and then we can close this up. Make sure uh, this box is checked, make sure this is unchecked. Okay, that's it, easy peasy. All right, my road signs are beautiful. This mod is a high quality retexture of the road signs. All right, let's do it. So version 1.3 EN, I'm assuming English files. 
uh, English version. Yeah, the very first one here. Any additional instructions? No, there is a full mod though, so let's go and do that. Oh, see here, it's hanging again. So this is how you fix this. Right click, pause, double click, boom. I don't know why it does that. It's like a Nexus gets like a hiccup or something. All right, double click. All right, let's expand this, open it up, see what, we, what we're working with. All right, so versions, we want the 2K-1K. Weathered road signs, we want third option. Weathered road signs fixed, dirty version, 2K-1K. Aurora village, none. Cutting room floor, we want engraved texture, 2K-1K. Let's click next over here. Uh, we don't have Keldar installed, so none. Oakwood, none. Point the way, we do have, and we want engraved textures, 2-1K. Whistling mine, none, <clears throat> none. And then click install. All right. Okay, now we're really done. After we check that box, right click over here, delete installed, right, then right click over here, all mods, collapse all. Okay, now we're done. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Vanilla Creature Retextures and Tweaks. Have a good one.